Hi everybody, it's Carlos here and today I wanted to try something different and just talk to you about Pokemon Go and why it's so important today. Um, I've been waiting to do this video for a while now because I didn't necessarily know how to put this into words. Um, and in some ways I still kind of don't, so you know, bear with me a bit. Originally when Pokemon came out about 20 years ago, it was just a kid's game. Our kid's game. Um, that we met up with our friends who had a Game Boy who could get one at the time and you know you'd play Pokemon with each other, trade battle and all that kind of stuff. But now 20 years later Pokemon Go has in a way come into our own reality and from there people have been going out and about going to places that they probably would have never gone if it wasn't for Pokemon. And an, an even better thing to come out of it is that people are remembering what it's like to have a sense of adventure. Even if it's just like to the inner parts of your town or in the outer parts or even just around the corner that you've never even thought to turn because you had no business going there. Um, people are out exploring their communities and their towns and their cities and in some cases even states um, here in the US it's it's incredibly mind-boggling and it's an amazing thing to do especially around these times when the world is filled with so much negativity and whether we live in the US or you're hearing about the US and all of these um, all of these conflicts that we're having whether it be on the political side of things for the presidential debates and the people following them or or even just people people in your neighborhood who are getting either shot by the police or the police are being um, attacked by by everyday civilians whether you're on the same side of either of those it's if you, you can't even look online anymore or turn on the TV without hearing about some sort of tragic mass shootings at a school or or anywhere here and we're forgetting what it is to be a community what it, what it means to be friends to each other and I was talking to some people a few days ago and you know you have you have the people that are playing Pokemon Go obviously whether and they're in either a faction of Team Mystic, Instinct or Valor or even on the subgroup the uh, uh, Team Harmony um, you know you have all all of these factions here and, and it's you know it's playful fun you know we we hang around like oh your team mystic boo I'm team valor yeah you know it's that kind of stuff it's friendly things but then you also have these people that um that don't play pokemon go and instead of you know trying it because you know whatever for whatever reason they're, you know, they're completely against it, and, and that's totally fine. Nobody has to play Pokemon Go. That's, you know, it's it's a game. Remember that. It's a game. But, you know, you have all of these people that think it's a waste of time because, you know, they could be doing something more productive. Or, you know, they say things like, you know, Oh man, it took a, a video game about little creatures to get you outside and stuff? Man, nerds really don't go outside, do they? Um... And you know, in some in some aspects, it's very hurtful to hear some something like that from a fellow person, uh, because for some reason they don't want to let us enjoy the game, and it's it's not what should be going on. You know, you should let people enjoy what they want to enjoy, and in this particular time that we live in right now, where there's so much conflict about about deciding what people what other people should do with their lives I feel like this is not one of those things that should be brought up into that case if you love something love it with all of your heart passionately just do what you want to do if you see someone playing Pokemon Go don't snicker at them don't talk to them like they're below you or something because they want to enjoy and you know they're discovering all of these places with with friends and in some cases with people that they don't even know that are that they just met around the corner because you know they're trying to catch a freaking Charmander here and they're all like whoa well, yeah you, did you see that Charmander did you catch it yeah hell yeah I did um, you know it's 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 crazy I was in uh, Santa Monica last week and this place was filled with people filled I cannot I can't even 
I can't even, I can't even right now. I, I actually, there's so many people and it's not, it's not something that you go to and it's like, oh yeah, Pokemon players over there, blah, 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 let's walk over here. It's no, it's like you see these people on your, on their phones and you're like, hey, are you, are you playing Pokemon Go too? Are you trying to catch this Pokemon? And they look at you like, uh, yeah, and I just caught him. And it, it's, and from there you start having these conversations with strangers and you, you build bonds with, with people in your city and it's an amazing thing and sometimes you know you ask them like hey so what team are you on and they're like uh, uh team mystic and they're like yeah me too oh my god yeah let's go take over this gym right now get like red off of there or something by the way i'm team valor don't mess with us um you know let's take these these guys out and take the gym for ourselves and then you band together and you take over this gym you set your pokemon there to defend it and there from there you go on it's 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 mind-boggling how how this game is working in real life right now and I'm very proud to be part of that uh, to be a part of that community and for other people to di totally dismiss it because it doesn't seem productive or it seems like a child's game it might be a child's game who knows but it's doing something that's much more important than you know just walking outside it's reminding us so that we have a lot more common between each other that we have differences and if people can remember that even just for a few minutes for an hour even just for an instant then I feel like that's completely more important than anything else and like I said we live in a time where we're constantly trying to set ourselves apart from each other we try to put ourselves into groups of superiority or just to be different or something. But I don't think that that's what we should be doing. And Pokemon Go is so important right now because we are reminding ourselves that there are other people out there that might look different than us, that speak differently than us, that dress, look dif dress and look differently than us. You know what's kind of amazing about it too, is that you meet a lot of people that you would have never expected to be into this kind of stuff. Like when you think about Pokemon and you know this kind of category that falls into the nerd category, you would expect many to just be like super nerdy male guys that are just walking around with their bros or something like that, you know? But it's completely the opposite. You have couples going on Pokemon Go dates to go catch Pokemon together. You have girls walking along and capturing Pokemon like it's like it's the most badass thing ever. This game has been played by every type of person out there. Boy, girl, kid, adult, older people. It doesn't even matter. It you meet someone on the street and most likely they're going to be playing Pokemon. I've seen uh, fathers walking around with their sons out on the streets playing Pokemon Go and while they're playing they're, the dad is also talking to him about like you know this is a really cool place I've been here a lot when I was a kid and blah 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 and I'm so happy that this is a thing that I could do with my son it's it's a great family bonding experience as well because it's not just about you know you don't just go to a restaurant now with your family and do this you want to go to parks with your family now because you want to go try to catch Pokemon you want to go to the beach together now so you can catch Pokemon together it's bringing people together not just within families but also with strangers and stuff you meet more friends out there doing uh, doing this than any other thing Pokemon isn't just about capturing little imaginary things on your phone it's about being able to build a community and being able to build bonds with each other not just these little creatures that we have on our phone that we capture together raise together defend gyms together it's not about you know the superficial idea of being better than somebody else it's about being better together and to quote meow Maybe if we started looking at what's the same instead of what's different, who knows? And that's my video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you've agreed with 
anything that I've said throughout this entire video, please share it with your friends. Blast it all over social media. Hit that like button. Get this video all the way up to the YouTube stratosphere so people can can watch it. And and if people agree with me, then that'd be so amazing because I I would know for sure that this game really is making a difference. It's making new bonds with people. It's meeting new people that you would have never met or discovering a new place that you would have never even been to if it wasn't for Pokemon. So with that in mind. Thank you so much, and don't forget you can also follow me on social medias on Twitter, Instagram, uh, twitch.tv as well. Go ahead, uh, please subscribe and everything, it would mean a lot to me, and thank you.